The ratings are more of alien. Full speed ahead! Police boat. Come on. Why you want to ride your motorcycle off the end of a dock beats me. Well, I was going... You what? We was going to... You don't say so. Seems like a lot of good equipment for such an old tub. This tramp steamer was one of the spider's hideouts, Steve. If we're lucky, we may find something that will tell us more about them. Hey, the men we captured have been searched. One of my men found this. Does it mean anything? Thanks, Brandon. It may. Doesn't tell me anything now. Steve, your pockets are dry. You better keep it. Arriving on Pacific Queen, hoping you will meet me, Aunt Mary. What's that? Hmm. Aunt Mary. This may be of some value. A million dollars lost, and many of our men captured by the police. All caused by stupidity, Moloch. And if Dick Tracy finds out that we're after the Mogra necklace, he'll try to block that too. I have just received word that the wireless message concerning the Mogra necklace has been found by federal men. And that means Dick Tracy. I don't think even Dick Tracy can stop us this time. Monsieur Claire René arriving with famous Mogra necklace aboard Pacific Queen today. Necklace is of great value. Signed. Baguette Brothers, New York City. Is that what you wanted to know, Dick? It all ties up, Chief. The spider ring, unless I miss my guess, will make an attempt for the necklace. Steve and I will fly out to meet the Pacific Queen. Wire the commander to expect us. Tell him we will pose as newsreel photographers. Yes, in that way we can use the fluoroscopic equipment without exciting too much suspicion. Right, we're leaving right away. Mr. Tracy, Mike won't take his castor oil. He won't, huh? Get away, huh? Hey, you. All right, doctor. Take care of your patient. <laughs> Come on. 
come in. Oh, Mr. Odette. Glad to see you. And Mr. Potter. How do you do, sir? How do you do? We just dropped in for a moment, Dick. Congratulations. Oh, for what? We've heard about your cleanup at the waterfront. Oh, that. That's ancient history now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Steve, you better put that stuff right in the car. All right, Chief. We'll have to hurry. No. Going away? Oh, just one of those things. Be back by night. Hey, wait a minute, Steve. I'll help you. Hey, I thought you were sick. I never felt better in my life. Oh, <laughs> Dick, have you heard anything? Found any trace of your brother Gordon? I'm sorry, old man. Oh, well, it'll work out some way, I'm sure. I'll have to be running along. I'm awfully glad you gentlemen dropped in. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, Dick. Is that Mary? Uh, you never can tell. <laughs> How these G men get on the trailer frame? No answer. Need to pick up gears of readiness for the landing and stand by to render all assistance. Yes, sir. We're already forced to hook on. Of course, sir. But of course you are mistaken. Only an hour ago I put the necklace away in his secret hiding place. I hope our suspicions are groundless, Monsieur René. It's gone. I was afraid it would be. Monsieur, the Mogra necklace, it was the king's ransom. I can't understand. Monsieur René. We must work fast. I believe that necklace is still aboard the dirigible. Can you describe what it looks like? I can do better than that. I have a very fine imitation of it. An imitation? Every valuable jewel purchased by our company has a synthetic duplicate made of it. I'll show you. It is just an imitation, but a very good one. May I keep it for a while? Oui, monsieur. Commander, what's the position of the dirigible? We are just over Santa Barbara, heading north for San Francisco. Have the people assembled in the main salon. Make them think it's a newsreel stunt. Very well, Mr. Tracy. Thank you, Mr. Churton. Thank you very much. Not at all. Not at all. Any sign of the necklace yet? No, not as yet. The fluoroscope will sure pick it up if the right guy comes in. It's working perfectly. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I do hope he asked me to speak. <laughs> Oh, I'm just dying to do it. Oh, the folks back home. Now, will you say a few words? Me? Oh. Yes, come right along. Oh. And now, Miss. Um... Uh, Miss Clarabelle. Uh, Georgetta Clarabelle. <laughs> I, I'm from Creamy Falls, Iowa. <laughs> yes. Well, Miss Clarabelle, will you say a few words for us? Uh, yes, into the mic. Mic? The microphone, Miss. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, Steve. I'm sure this will be a thrill for the people of Creamy Falls. <laughs> 
And now tell us, Miss Clarabel, have you enjoyed your flight in the Pacific Queen across the ocean? Oh, my, yes. It's been just too, too wonderful. And now, friends of the radio. That's and fine, Miss Adrian... Clarabel. Thank you very much. And now, uh, and now of someone else. Find anything? Yeah. Oh, but I have so much more to say. Don't move, anybody. Ah! Your phony camera didn't fool me. You're G-Man looking for the Mogra necklace. But you're not going to get it. You get me? You're not going to get it. Got the necklace, Steve. Come on. you ought to know that these newspaper men out here are threatening to bust right into the place if you don't give them a story about them jewels. All right, Mike, send them in. I'll give them a story that will make headlines in the next edition. Boys, I have a surprise for you. Take a look. Looks like the Mogra necklace. That's exactly what it is. The spider ring stole the imitation. You wouldn't fool me, would you, mister? Figure it out for yourself. You know there's an imitation in a real one. So which would you take? The one that was carefully hidden away, or...? I get you. It's the imitation that's hidden away that the crooks grab, thinking it was a real McCoy. That was Monsieur René's idea, exactly. I'll say that using the old bean. Human psychology. Boy, what a story. Look out, fellas, look out, will you? It worked. But I can't understand. You will. Now, here's the idea. You will take off this afternoon on your announced flight east. Once in the air, a robot plane controlled by radio will take the course you were supposed to follow. I am banking on the spider reading the report of the imitation having been stolen and trying to get the real one. Oh, I begin to understand. <laughs> oh, clever trick. But Monsieur René has not outwitted us yet. Gordon must be told of this at once. He is with the wing. I will communicate with him.
He's got that that all the Yep, that's him. Press up to Dick Tracy. Pilot, turn back. The regular plane's heading back, Dick. Yeah. Well, I'm not as scared now that you're here. Each one mark a vital spot and don't miss. 